Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. My name is Quincy Davis. Thank you so much for tuning in, especially if it is your first time. If it is, uh, please consider pressing that like button, and I hope you enjoy it so much that you consider subscribing to my channel. All right, I am wasting no time getting into this lesson because it is Art Blakey, one of the most influential drummers, period, of our time, truly. Um, he showed us what it sounds like and what it can feel like to play with power and finesse, to play arrangements uh, with dynamics, and how to lead a band from a drummer's standpoint. Wow! He was incredible. But we're all here. I know you're here to learn some Art Blakey language. If you don't have any, you especially come to the right place. If you already have some, you don't have these phrases. I bet you don't. So, if you're ready, then we're going to do this. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Steve? Huh? Joe Ward Booker, Rita, are you guys? Are you ready? Well then, let's go! One, two, three, four. All right, so this first phrase I'm going to show you, it is incredible. I love it. It's one of his signature phrases. Um, and actually, it's in it's number 21 in my Bebop vocabulary ebook. If you haven't purchased it, you need to do that because it's got a whole lot of stuff in there that you're going to want. I'll put the link down below. But... Uh, it's number 21, and it goes a little something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. I, I warned you, I warned you, I'll play it up-tempo, and then I'll play it down-tempo. Is that a thing? Down. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'll play it slow at a slow tempo. A one, two, three, four. So, what makes this one so cool is that first phrase. They're, they're two different phrases combined, right? So. And sometimes he'll continue with that and just play that. Right. But then sometimes he'll combine it with the second part of the phrase, which makes it a little tricky because we're going from duple da 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 to triple da 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 da. Right. And in the midst of feeling time. Right. We naturally want to feel the duple. It's harder to feel the the quarter note triplet. So that's the thing. So I'll break down the first part. One, two. One, two, three, four. And if you just listen to the, the rhythmic melody, all it is is. Right? You can also start on the floor time. And then all you do is fill it in with the left hand notes. So if we were just to remove or put our right hand on our leg and just play the left hand, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Right? And if we do it the other way. So that's a really good way to just kind of hear what each hand is doing. The second part is just doubles, doubles, right? Except you're playing it between the toms and the snare. So one, two, three, and it's based off the chord note triplet. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's all it is.
two, three, four. Ah. Start with the left. Four stroke rough. Okay? And if you're if you're a subscriber and if you caught some of my other lessons, my, my most recent lessons, I talked about how Philly Joe Jones played the rough. His special sticking, if you don't know that, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. I'm not going to break it down now. And then how Bill Stewart played the rough, okay? This is even different still. And this is our Blakey, okay? So he would take the rough, just as uh, alternating four-stroke rough. Okay? Starting with the right, starting with the left. Right? So... And if you don't got that, if you're not comfortable doing that on the snare drum, then you sure as hell are not going to be comfortable putting it on the time. So you know what to do. Right? So then put that on the time. Start the, uh, play the first note on a different time. So I'll show you. One, two, three, four. told you it was going to be slick. I warned you, but you weren't ready. You said you were ready, too. Come on, y'all. Again. One, two, three, four. I'll go slower. It sounds like something more than what this is. It's just a four-stroke rough, right? Orchestrated around the kit, starting with that first note on a time. And you gotta snap it though. You gotta make it make it snap, okay? So sometimes he would play it. There's so many different ways you can play it. So let's explore it. One, two, three, four. Ah. Start with the left. You know, just create phrases. Once you figure it out, come up with your own way of doing it. Okay, man, when I learned this, I learned this in college, and this messed me up. I loved it. I still play it all the time. It's so, so great. Okay, so I call it an Art Blakey roundhouse phrase, <laughs> and you'll find out why. So all it is is I'll play it, and then I'll break it down. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm going to do it again. I'll play it faster so you can really hear how he would play it. One, how it sounded at, at the tempo that he would play. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to break it down. Right, left, right, left, right, bass drum. Single strokes. Hello. So easy, right? Um, but it's how he orchestrated it. Right? And so sometimes he would play just that first phrase to kind of set up something else. So he might go... One, two, three, four. Right? Woo. So, so incredible. And it's so powerful, right? Um, yeah, easy, fairly easy to execute. Depends on how fast you want to play it. Um, he would also play it really fast. It's harder at that tempo when you when at that speed, but it has a really cool effect. So you can go, so you can go one. Dig a 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 little bang. Let's see if we can do that. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ah, not quite. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. Ah, 
You see what I did to make it kind of work with the phrasing? I just used that first part and just repeated it. And that's kind of what you can do with, well, that is what you should be doing with anything that you learn, any vocabulary that you learn. Don't just stop at playing it exactly like the masters or whoever you got it from. Figure out different ways of orchestrating it. Figure out different ways of playing it to personalize it. Okay? So, I'll play it one more time. I'll put it in context. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Woo! Our Blakey, genius. Okay, so this last one is actually less of a drum solo kind of thing that he would play in more of a groove. And actually, I covered it in about a, maybe a year ago in a lesson that I did on the Mozambique bell pattern, on the New York style Mozambique bell pattern. Okay, so I'm just gonna play it and then break it down. Let's see. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so Left hand, I'll break, I'll just show you what my feet are doing first. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Left hand, one, two, three, four, one. That's it. That's it. It's the left hand. And then the right hand, what the right hand is doing is playing the Mozambique. New York style Mozambique, which is, which you should know, So just the hands sounds like this. And something that he would do, this when he played at a slower tempo, sometimes he would add just a little bit of swing to it. Really cool. One, two, three, four. Right? so that is the lesson on art blakey essential art blakey language four phrases that you got to have in your playing um have fun with them as always practice hard but practice smart okay i'll see you next time take care bye-bye happy thanksgiving by the way bye-bye